The pH typically around here should be about 5.6. Well, since the contrailing got heavy, I watched the pH here in these forests, well, go up, I guess would be the word, from 5.6, it went about 20 times more alkaline. Very big red flag of fallout from these materials are pH changes to the forest floor. We have very extensive studies from the U.S. Department of Agriculture on the soils in our region, and those soils have changed in five to six years. The pHs have changed in this in this area as much as 10 to 12 times toward alkaline in five to six years. I've personally been in the forest testing with USDA soil scientists who just scratched their heads and seem to have no explanation for incredibly profound changes in pH, which is affecting the ecosystem here tremendously. Aluminum buffer action, aluminum hydroxide is what we think it is, uh, plus the uh, barium carbonate, strontium titanate, strontium oxides, barium oxides, probably some aluminum oxides in there, that this has apparently driven our acid soils about 20 times more alkaline to about 6.8. There are simply too many dots here that connect. Our skies are almost never blue anymore. That is a named consequence of geoengineering. The amount of lost sunshine hitting the planet right now is beyond belief. If people look up the term global dimming, they will see that fully 20% of the sun's rays that reached the planet several decades ago are no longer reaching the planet. I mean, that's a profound change that few people even know is occurring. And you have very visible occurrences in the sky from the aircraft, a very visible sun blocking, expanding, dingy trails that are exactly what geoengineering patents describe. Heavy aluminum, I'm talking like in the 40s and 50s up to three, four, five thousand. That's still common. Uh, barium, strontium to um, oh, somewhere 40 or 50 to again about two or three thousand. Same for both barium and strontium. Where is this mountain of metal coming from? Why is asthma, ADD, Alzheimer's, autism, all elements related in many studies to aluminum or particulate inhalation, why are, these, why are these ailments going off the charts with no apparent ex explanation? Why has respiratory mortality in the continental United States gone from eighth on the list to third in six years? And no one seems to ask any questions why everybody, uh, every other person has asthma now, why every other commercial on TV is, a, is an allergy medication. And again, uh, when, when David Keith, the world's most recognized geoengineer, was asked on the record, had there been any studies done as to the consequences of dumping 20 million tons of aluminum in the atmosphere, his answer was patently no.